As our nation tries to understand our government's response to the economic crisis, we should keep in mind that it's not a small thing when a company receives billions of dollars in taxpayer help. That takes us to Bank of America and tonight's Hypocrisy Watch. As first reported by the Huffington Post, just days after Bank of America received $25 billion in bailout money last fall, and just weeks before the November election, Bank of America hosted a conference call with leading critics of America's labor unions. On the call, several clients of Bank of America chimed in and spoke of ways to kill the Employee Free Choice Act. That's the name of legislation in front of Congress, which, if passed, would make it easier for employees to join unions. One of the participants on the Bank of America conference call was Home Depot's founder, Bernie Marcus. He urged colleagues to help anti-union lawmakers facing re-election. If a retailer has not gotten involved with this, if he has not spent money on this election, if he has not sent money to Norm Coleman and all these other guys, should be shot, should be thrown out of their damn jobs. Bernie Marcus is entitled to his opinion on unions. Likewise, every American citizen is welcome to get involved in elections. Elections matter. However, Bank of America and other financial institutions help create the financial mess our country faces to begin with. And for Bank of America to take taxpayer bailout money in order to, quote, improve the company's health and then use that money to organize a conference call and get so involved in fighting workers who are trying to improve their own financial health, that's hypocrisy and it's wrong.